Welcome back to the Grateful Rose Homestead. How y'all doing on this fine, fine Thursday? Stay tuned, I got something to show you. Well, it is Thursday already. No, so actually, today is Wednesday when you're that I'm doing this. But by the time you see it, it'll be Thursday or Friday. Uh, this week been busy. Um, Saturday uh, is normally a work day around here. So, but uh, we had uh, my sister-in-law and uh, brother-in-law down with all the kids and. Uh, I still had stuff to do. <laughs> the wife uh, left and Paisley girl left with uh, her sister and they went shopping and getting stuff ready for uh, garden season. And uh, I can't remember at all. She had to pick up some uh, gifts for our grandbabies this weekend. We'll be going out of town. Um, yeah, so you probably won't see this until Sunday. Um, by that time, you'll, we'll already be home. So, but we'll be leaving out of town on Saturday, um, going down to West Virginia. Now, I'm just kidding. Anyone from West Virginia, I'm not making fun of you. Um, but it's a beautiful day. Uh, like I said, it's Wednesday. Um, God gives us Wednesday as a, a midpoint in the week to take a breath and just relax and it's not been a relaxing day for me um i woke up last i've been in a flare ever since sunday um i think it was because i really overdid myself on saturday <sighs> um but i woke up in pain today and i still feeling it um i would definitely be feeling it tomorrow um but today is 72 degrees it's february what 72 degrees you gotta be kidding me. what is going on with this world i mean we got unidentified stuff coming from the sky they're shooting down you know we got the spy balloon um we got the black national anthem being played at the super bowl and i didn't watch the super bowl but i heard about it and i'm like this country is going to hell and hand basket people um you know um I'm sorry, but when I was a kid, you were, when you went to a sports event, you didn't have a black national anthem. I think that's racist. I really do. Sorry if that offends you, but it really is. Um, it's disgracing. Um, it's just disgusting. Um, and then uh, that quarterback that fell and everyone prayed for him. Um, I don't know if you've seen his jacket that he wore at the Super Bowl. Now, if it had... A message about the loving Jesus Christ they would have you know blocked the shirt and their jacket out but no because it was Jesus looking like a zombie on a, a crucifixion cross and, and he was making fun of Jesus Christ buddy did you forget about all the people who prayed for you make sure you were well from being vaccinated that you almost died from yeah that's why he, he fell at the, you know that game and uh, yeah, what a disgrace. I mean, this, that's what I said, this country. I mean, where you are on the edge of nuclear war, um, you know, China, we got Russia against us, um, North Korea. Um, like I said, so, I mean, 72 degrees in February, this is crazy. Um, it should be uh, snowing, or at least, I don't know, have some kind of snow on the ground in February. A mild winter means that it's going to be a very hard hot, muggy, buggy summer, at least here in Ohio. Um, that usually means that we have a very mild winter, and, and this has been a record mild winter, because like I said, we started out the, out the gate, freezing temperature, ain't already kind of freezing temperature, I mean, it was crazy, and then it just slowly just went away, and, and 72 degrees today. Uh, today I got up, got out, and uh, cleaned out the rabbit cages. Um, I started it on Saturday, um, but when uh, free help comes along and they were offering to help us uh, uh, split the logs, the big logs, way back in the summer when I stacked up by myself, uh, 
we'll be going up here in a minute. Um, they offered to come over and we had asked them if we could borrow their uh, log splitter and they came over and helped and man, you just can't pass up free help. So uh, wife went and left uh, our, my brother-in-law in the house with all the kids. Poor guy. I felt so sorry for him. I, don't, I told him, I said, why didn't you come outside? He's like, ah, I was watching you from the window. So, uh, but yeah, Saturday around here, we do, I'm doing laundry and, and working outside if it's nice or, you know, if it's not nice, then I'm in the house. Which, um, Saturday was, gosh, I can't remember what temperature it was. Upper 60s, mid 60s, I think. Come on, Gypsy. Come on, girl. Where'd she go? Gypsy. Crazy dog. Come on, girl. Oh, I see her. She was down in the, the ravine. Mention of the ravine. This area right here, this is the future site of my gun range. I'm going to be uh, clearing all this stuff out where Gypsy's running. i going to clear it out and then right up there where them tree, little trees are at, I'm going to be putting a black uh, backboard with bricks behind it. Um, and this will be our front, uh, gun range. This whole area here is a perfect spot for my gun range. Um, we have the park over here, but if you can see, there's a huge bull, basically. Think of it like a bull. There's a big ravine right here along there so uh, firing the weapons this way towards the home uh, uh, shouldn't be a problem um, like I said I'm putting up a big backboard right along there um, so I think this will be a good spot for a shooting range good pra practice gun range so um, whew, trying to take what else so yeah, Saturday I got the, a lot of the log split, um, which really helped out a lot. Um, them things are heavy. I mean, they, some of them were beasties. Um, they got a big size uh, uh, log splitter, and it, it, it was taking some effort on that log splitter. But today I did some tilling. Um, basically got finished the, uh, outline of the garden. Uh, sister-in-law will be bringing down the, uh, her tiller, um, on Carmen's birthday this sun, uh, not this Sunday, this, uh, the 26th, that's Carmen's birthday. Today she's, uh, under the weather a little bit. I don't know what's going on with her. She, I know she didn't sleep too well last night. Look at that. There's a chemtrail behind me. Um, I get distracted. I can't help but see there's a chemtrail right there. <sighs> Anyways, uh, yep, she'll be five years old here at the end of the month. can't believe it. It's almost, she's going to be five. But she's, uh, under the weather. She didn't sleep well last night. Um, uh, uh, she was up pretty late and, uh, so today, but she just laid around. She didn't want to eat. She hasn't eaten breakfast or lunch. Um... She went to take a nap and I went and checked on her earlier and she was still sleeping so I didn't want to bother her. But I had to come out here and get all these sticks picked up. Uh, gotta get the tractor running. There's so many little fires, things that I gotta do and just haven't had the time to do it. Um, because if it's not raining, um, it's just, you know, yucky out. And, um, I got so many twigs down from all this wind that we get. Um, yeah, so this midweek, uh, or in, this inspirational week is just taking time with God. And that's what I've been doing here for the last half hour. I was sitting out there on the picnic table back there in the back and uh, just looking around at God's beautiful creation. You know, and... Uh, I think that we all need to do that, don't we? Just from time to time, we just need to take some time and thank God and, and just look around and, and uh, you know, 
wonder what else. Uh, sa uh, I did some uh, cleaning up our, our cellar and uh, uh, kind of getting that stuff all organized in there. And uh, um, yeah, so I did that on Saturday as well. Um, this week has, like I said, it's been kind of a slow week for me. Um, just haven't had the the energy to do anything. I, I don't know what's going on with my body, but it just was acting up. And today was the first day that I, well, I'd already said, but I'm going to go out and do it. Just going to go outside and enjoy the weather. You know, 72 degrees, you can't beat that, especially in February. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd take you along a walk here. And I don't remember if you've seen the pile. But this was all, we still got a lot here to still uh, split, but there is actually a good bit got split. We put it all over here on our, our thing here, and then we filled up the porch. So we got a nice wood already split and ready to go. So we're back up here at the front porch. Well, take you over here real quick and show you. We officially now have a full outline of the garden. Um, I'm not going to tell you some things about it because there's some surprises coming. Uh, it's going to probably be a video of it being done. Um, but now I know where I'm going to be putting the fence up. Um, all right, so Gypsy standing on the line. There it is. It's officially tilled up. We officially have a nice outline of where, where things are going. These are the rocks. Look at some of these rocks that I tore out today. I think to glued some of the big ones over here that I put up here. In our... But we have a nice spot here. Gypsy likes to lay in it. She thinks it's kind of cool. Don't you, girl? She's like, yeah, play in it, girl. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it, girl. Get it. Oh. Get it, girl. Get it. Oh. But now it's officially connected. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. The crazy gypsy girl. There she goes. Whoa. She is uh, going to be a surrogate mother here um, in March. Uh, that'll be a surprise coming. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. But uh, Gypsy's going to... Gypsy got fixed a long time ago when we got her as a puppy. We got her fixed. And uh, she can't have any puppies. But... Um, she decided she wanted to be a surrogate mother and, and help, and, uh, I think she's going to be a good mommy. Aren't you, girl? You take care of Dexter, even though she gets grouchy at him. But, uh, yeah, there it is. I could have took this one up further back here a little bit, but I thought, no. Uh, this will give us a, a little walk away or walk around the fenced area. Um, that area over there that just got all them little rocks. Walk up this hill here. Oh, so this spot here um, had a lot of already rocks and glass. And uh, let me show you here. See the glass right there? Um, it had tons of pebble glass. There's there's concrete here. Uh, this area really to me not going to be full ground garden so I thought well we'll just make this like a, a spot for rocks and um, Paisley girl is gonna have to when she comes out here she's gonna have to walk along here and get all the rocks out that she doesn't want in her garden I did the I do the telling so all I gotta do is this, this middle section here I don't know in the last video if I showed you but this area here this is gonna be our gar main garden 
And then we're going to be having a larger, well, not really larger, but uh, it's more for the, we're going to have corn. Uh, I know she wants to grow some pumpkins. I'm trying to think what else. Pumpkins, corn, and I think some melon. Yeah, melons. This right here, she has strawberries in. I'm sure you've seen that video. Let me put my cup down here. There we go. This area has got strawberries growing. And then over here, she's got garlic. And there, see the garlic coming up? See the garlic right there? Let's see if I can see it right there? It's all going to be guard, uh, guard, guard. It's going to be the garlic beds. There's some garlic right there coming through. So this is all going to be garlic. There's some right there. Now this whole area from there, see right there where that hole is at? It's going to come out here to here. Then across, if you really can see, there we go. Across to this one. And then I'm going to bring it up to where that middle, that window right there. This is going to be a door into the future bathroom. This area right here. I'm going to cut us out, cut this out, and this will be a doorway going into a bathroom. I got to redo the whole wall here. Um, this will all get opened up. There'll be a video um, behind here. I don't know if I can show you really. Um, I don't know if you really can see in there. It's kind of hard. Let's see. No, you can't really see. There's a whole bunch of wheels. I mean, there's tire galore. Lawnmower tires, four-wheeler tires, you name it. We got tires. Yes, we got tires. So, yeah, the garden's going to run down here. This all area will be nothing but corn and melons and whatever else Pais is going to be planting here. Um, so... I want you just to take some time and relax with God, okay? That's what my, I guess that's simply going to be it to this week. Um, you know, God loves it when we just stop and listen to Him. You know, we can, we have so much horrible stuff being said on TV and the news and, you know, World War Three. you you know, and identified objects flying around our sky. We've got the military on the movement. You know, it, it, you think about all the chaos that's going on around us. And sometimes we get wrapped up into that. God blessed this nation long, long time ago. See that, that beautiful flag behind me? God blessed America. But God has not heard from her people for a long time. You know, it's sad that as a country, we have lost our moral compass. We're all guilty. You know, we're not perfect. No one is. But in reality is we have all lost our moral compass. You know, everything from transgender and, you know, letting guys go into girls' bathrooms and lockers and, you know. I shake my head. You know, I shake my head. And I think God's really shaking his head. Because of all the craziness that this road has... I just, when I see a commercial of two gay men, and I'm not trying to get too into this too much, but when I see a commercial, I think about my grandparents, what they would think. He said, well, you know, this is a new era, new, new times, and blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something. God was yesterday, God is today, and God will be the same tomorrow, and God will be at the end of the earth. 
he doesn't change people he doesn't change to fit us okay just because we have lost our moral compass doesn't mean god has changed or he should change some will say well you're you're hobo homophobic or whatever no i believe in god and god you know the good great book doesn't lie you know there is no lies in the bible now there's Bibles out there. Well, they're not really Bibles. They're just books, paperweights, you know, so-called uh, NIVs and so forth, and other little satanic Bibles. You know, they will tell you that homosexuality is okay, and, and it's okay to be a. If you want to, you know, be a girl, you can be a girl. If you want to be a guy, you can be a guy. Let me tell you something, people. We have lost our moral compass. Okay. So take time to stop and take time with God. Open the Bible. Open your Bible. When was the last time you opened your Bible? Can you honestly say that it was today? Can you honestly say it was a couple days ago? Can you honestly say it was last week? Or maybe it was the last time you went to church. Maybe it was last year. Take time. Open your Bible. And read the Word of God. Make sure it's the King James Bible though. Okay? Because it's the available Word of God. You know. You know, you like your... A lot of people have their own taste for coffee. You know, some like it with just plain black. Some like it with cream and sugar. And that's what we have done with the Bibles. He said, well, how do you know the King James Bible is the right Bible probably there? Because I've done my, my studies. It's the infallible word of God. Because you know why? Because it talks about sin. A lot of these newer version Bibles, they don't talk about sin. God's love. God loves everybody. You're right, God does love everybody. But you know what he doesn't love? Your wicked heart. Your sinful life. And that doesn't mean it has to be about the homosexuals, transgender, or anything crazy like that. It can be just simply you, yourself. We all do bad things in our lives. We all do sinful things. We've done things that God would, are not pleased with. We're all guilty of it. All right. Well, I got to go. You hear little Dexter. He's barking. He needs to go to the potty. So I got to get him outside and let him go potty. So the takeaway today for this inspirational week, take time and be with God. Get right with God before it's too late. Oh, I can wait till tomorrow. I can wait. You know, we live in an uncertain time more than any other time in history. We live in the most uncertain time. You could go to, to the grocery store and get shot. You could go to the gas station and get shot and be killed. Your time on earth is like the hour of sand glass. Okay. So get right with God now. Do it before it's too late. All right. And hopefully we'll all meet over there for the great supper table. Wouldn't that be great? No more pain, no more suffering, no more crying, no more wars, no more cancer. Man, it's going to be glorious time. Like I said, ask God forgiveness. All right. That's it, people. I love you all. Paisley Girl loves you. And we will see you on the next video. May God bless each one of you. May God bless America. And let's give God back to the America. Let's make God the priority in our lives. All right. One nation under God. Okay. I love y'all. We will see you on the next video. And as we say around the homestead here, peace, love, and peace, love, and happiness only comes from knowing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All right, I love y'all, and we will see you on the next video. Talk to y'all soon.